said and done, um, the things we believe in, um, you know, how we develop these young men, you know, it's not just about their successes, but it's also about how they deal with adversity. So those kids have been prepared, that team have been prepared to not only deal with good times, but how to handle bad times from day one. You know, I think that that's um, something that our kids um, don't experience enough. You know, today's culture, we, we the kids are always um, being shielded from from failure all the time, and, and so they they struggle when they deal with it. But um, one of our goals is to teach the kids how to deal with failure. You know, um, and because of that, even some of your worst moments they knew how to overcome it in that bathroom. You know who I'm talking to. Alright? I shouldn't have to keep telling you guys to keep moving and go to class. Alright? If y'all represent the team, you're going to have to do way better than that because everyone can stand in. Some of you even got an original t-shirt when you're doing it. Alright? Start carrying yourself like you're a football player. Keep it moving. So many kids are looking up to you guys and following you. When you stop, they stop. Keep your butt moving, they keep their butt moving. If I got that, it's pretty soon, I think it's time for y'all to pay the price. Y'all should know what to do by now, right? Get your butt out that hallway. Keep moving and go to class. A lot of y'all want to play college football. What you do in the field don't get you a college scholarship. What you do in the class gets you a college scholarship. If your butt's not in class, you're not going to anybody's college, in case you don't know that. All right? Go to class and do what you need to do and get out that hallway and definitely get out of that bathroom. All right? That's it, Coach. All right, so continue to make sure y'all set great examples. We only got three more practices left before the spring game. Three more. We'll have fun, and then we'll be done with spring football, and everything will be about getting bigger, stronger, and faster for the summer. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, defense, y'all stay right here. Offense, y'all get in the weight room. Offense, y'all got five minutes to get dressed to be in the weight room.
is about learning how to practice. It's about kids knowing where to go, when to go there, understanding what our different tempos are. It's about learning the basic fundamentals of their position. It's about giving them a chance to line up at the position that they see themselves playing. So we learn how to flex, we know how to transition from um, period to period within a practice. It's not just the kids, it's also the coaches. And we take those things and, and we film it and we use the film to evaluate our kids so that we can give them a plan moving forward of what's best for us as a team. Now where they end up in August compared to where they start off with in May is not the same. I tell every kid go where you want to go. You know, all winter they've worked out thinking about being a wide receiver or thinking about being an inside linebacker. You know, I want them to feel motivated to be out here um, doing what they th see themselves doing. Come on, good job. Come on. You know, uh, that that's what we're going to do. I, I like where we are because this is such a young group. You know, uh, probably seven kids returning starters on both sides of the ball combined. Um, it, it's a group with, with so much young talent and so much unproven, you know, seniors that, that haven't been the guy that now they get to be the guy. Uh, Miles Brown, a linebacker, class of 2024. I'll be a senior next year and I'll be wearing number seven. My name is David Matthews. I'm a middle linebacker, rising senior. My number this year is gonna be number nine. Uh, my name is Braylon Boyd. I'm a rising senior. I play quarterback, number eight. Ridgely football, we're a family. We all play very hard. We're all very fast learners. It's a brotherhood. It's just a great place to be in general. And Ridgely is just a great school to be at. If we don't get it the first time, we'll keep on going. And we have a tendency to never give up. I've been around Ridgely football since I've uh, been a little kid. So, you know, it's a tough physical program, but we're also a family environment. And we also have a big presence within our community. Well, you're experiencing failures just as much as you're experiencing success. I think I interviewed for, for nine or ten head coaching jobs before I got my first one. Well, it wasn't about getting the first one. I mean, I had to grow from those nine failures. Um, and I think some of our best successes probably come from how you recover from a failure. So when I look at my kids and I think about the growth that I've had as a man, and the growth that I will want for my own children and what I see in our young kids in this community and what I think they need, they need to learn how to deal with adversity.
Well, I think it all, you know, Ridgeview Athletics as a whole is how we differ from everyone else. We believe in being a next level program. And what does that look like? Um, it's not just trying to put kids in college. It's um, always seeking to be the best in every facet of what we do. Always seeking to be on the cutting edge of technology, the cutting edge of recruiting, the cutting edge of the game of football. Um, we always want to strive for excellence and we're not comparing ourselves to anyone else in South Carolina. We're comparing ourselves to um, what some of the top programs in the country are doing. We're comparing ourselves to what we've done in the past and how can we move things forward from what we've done in the past. evaluating ourselves as a staff uh, you know we got a lot of new coaches out there uh, and so putting people in a situation where they can be successful and um, I think that's what spring is all about man spring is not about uh, we get 10 full padded practices I think we use six You know, there, there are only a few schools out there that get to say that they ended the season on a high note. There are only a few schools that get to do that. And so, you know, well, how do you recover? Well, how did we recover the year before when we were three rounds in the playoffs and lost to Spartanburg by three and a crushing loss with a team that, that we felt like was a state championship caliber team? You start over with what you have.
I need you guys to set the example. Set the example. Be the tone setters. Be the ones in the hallway with your pants up. For the most part, 95% of y'all, 96% of y'all, do everything we ask you to do. All right? I need everybody 100% to tap in. 100% to tap in. There's no practice tomorrow. I want a full team meeting before we split, before we wait. So, where, how are we feeling after that? Oh, man. So, so we're talking about our uh, our third Tuesday. Um, we got 112 kids out here. You know, the weather's been great. Uh, we continue to fly around. The older kids are doing about what we expected. It's the young kids. We're trying to really get them ready. You know, a lot of good reps. Just uh, got a chance to see a lot of kids and, and what their abilities are right now. So, we are, I'm pleased. Please get in here to Thank you, Lord, for a beautiful day and great practice. The sprint game is just gives them a chance to to feel like they're in a game environment. You know, we go out of the way. We have a DJ. We have food trucks out there. Uh, we invite the entire community. We want them to be excited. Um, ultimately, I just want to get through it with no injuries.
You know, um, that there is no, uh, oh, we've got to run 70 plays and it's got to look like this and we want, we want to have these scores. Yeah, we want to put them in a competitive environment, but quite honestly, all we're trying to do is give the kids who haven't had a chance to line up and play ball since November, we're giving them a chance to be in a game environment and have a little bit of fun to celebrate the end of spring football and the end of their winter workouts. So, so these skills that these kids get here, and you know, they always talk about the basic stuff, uh, teamwork, um, you know, hard work, goal setting, all those things are great. Those things are great, all right? But to me, the one thing that creates the most growth and improvement from a person is how to deal with adversity. to what it was for me, man, it was an opportunity. You know, it was just somewhere for, for me to go where I was able to kind of grow into um, the young man that I was as a high school student athlete. It gave me an opportunity to play position that um, I wasn't allowed to play at when I went to Spring Valley before they even built Ridgeview High School. Um, I went from being a third string wide receiver to starting that quarterback, you know, and was able to develop to become 
a college level quarterback. And that's how I paid for my college degree. So to me, Ridgeview football has always been about opportunity. So whether it is you trying to uh, meet new people and meet new friends, or whether it is you think that you're talented enough to go off to play college football, whether it is you just want your mom and dad to see you on Friday night in your jersey, it is an opportunity for you to, to belong to something that's bigger than yourself. All right, so tell me, tell me one thing about Coach Howard, and then tell me, if you, as I know you're not a defensive player, but tell me something about Coach Kendall. Uh, Coach Howard, uh, he's a funny guy. He uh, he has on this he has on this mean face, but he's really kind of a big softy once you get to know him. And Coach Kendall, he's really the same way too. He uh, goes around all mean, but once you get to know him, they're really cool guys, and uh, uh, I guess kind of big softy. Great man, that's awesome. Thank, thank you. Yes, All right, send me, uh, send them, is there any more players out there? Oh, yes, sir. All right, I'm actually, cool. yeah. this may or may not get in. I want you to tell me something about Coach Howard and then Coach Kim. All right. So one at a time. Yeah. Right. Uh, Coach Howard is just a great guy in general. He's just a great guy to be around. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And Coach Kendall, he's very funny. So when he's just around him, he just lights up the room. He's just a great guy to be around. Oh, come on, you gotta give me some dirt because it's Kendall. No, that's not gonna say. All right, that's fair enough. Now, man, that's good. That's all. all right, tell me one thing about Coach Kendall people don't know about. He always wants you to be the best person you could be. And a sort of, and yeah. Tell me something you wish you, you could, you wouldn't tell him. Exactly. <laughs> okay, perfect. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. That's all it is.